Hi guys, it's Allie and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing another favorites video and this is a first favorites for the new year. So the first thing that I did want to talk about and I have mentioned this brand before a while back by Simple Skincare and it is the Radiance Cleansing Wipes. Now I absolutely love Simple products they are so good for sensitive skin, which my skin happens to be very sensitive. I'm a huge fan of the original cleansing wipes, like I guess the regular cleansing wipes. They get everything off with just one wipe. What I love about their cleansing wipes are that you don't feel like a residue or a film or anything like that afterwards, and it really gets everything off. Like it gets eyeliner off, it gets mascara off, and your skin feels clean afterwards. Like it doesn't feel like you have to wash it. So I normally use the regular cleansing wipes and I was like, you know what, let me try the other ones because I love their wipes. So I'm sure I'll love the other ones also. So I got the Radiance one and this is supposed to help bring glow to your skin and make you just look a little bit more alive and refreshed. And I thought this is perfect, especially for January because everything's more dry out. You don't have like that summer glow. So I tried this out and I really, really do love it. These are great too. It's enriched with vitamins and there are no chemicals. It's amazing. I love it. So I'm a huge fan of the original one, but for January, I love, love, love the Radiance one. Sticking with face, the next product I'm going to mention, I did actually receive in one of my Ipsy Glam bags. I don't remember which month it was. I'll leave the link to which Ipsy bag it was down below. It's by Clarice Sea Salt Solutions, and this is the Instant Glow Powder Exfoliant for the face. So that's what it looks like. It's literally just like sea salt. What I like about this product is that you can mix this with your favorite cleanser if you want a little bit more exfoliation in the skin or you can use it alone with just water I do use very gentle cleansers on my skin although there were time periods where my skin was like dry but then i was breaking out and it was like i felt like i just needed to scrub all that dead skin off and have a fresh palette i guess so i did use this my skin cleansers to get a little bit more of a deep clean and i liked it a lot because it wasn't too harsh on the skin but you definitely felt it working and you did get a deep clean so i was very happy with this little guy next thing that i'm going to mention is mascara and the one that i've been liking for the month of january is the flamed up mega curl by covergirl now I just got this mascara honestly because I went to the drugstore and it was buy one get one 50% off and I'm a sucker for deals so I just grabbed the first thing I saw and I got this mascara because the packaging I'm like oh I don't have this color and I do believe that there's the flamed up mascara and the flamed up mega curl I've never used a flamed up one like the original one so I just got this wand is pretty cool it's short like it's very compact it's it's curved so I do feel like that helps curl your lashes. I did like the wand a lot. I did feel like I got a good curl using this. It was buildable also, which I did like. If you put too many coats, it did get a little clumpy, so just be cautious of that. And as far as the formula goes, it's nice because I do feel like it's long wear. So like you did have to scrub a little bit to get it off. It wasn't impossible to take off though, like the bombshell mascara by CoverGirl, which is like, I feel like I lose eyelashes taking that off. This was nice. This was nice. I like that you got a nice little curl with it. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is bronzer. So, you know, it's winter time and you don't have that glow and... You need a little bit of color in your skin. The bronzer that I've been using and that I've been liking is the Master Bronze by Face Studio by Maybelline. And I have it in 310 Weekend Bronze. I do believe that this is the lightest bronzer that they have, which I like because I don't like going crazy with bronzers. A little bit on my hand. I don't know if you can see it. I think you can kind of see it right there. 
I'm sure that I could have gotten maybe a little bit deeper, but I don't like going too deep with the bronzer. I like to kind of just build it if I feel like I need it. But this gives just like a little bit of color. It is a warm bronzer, so it can be towards the orange side. I didn't feel orange when I used it, but I did like that it didn't look muddy, especially in these winter months. You don't wanna have those drabby colors to kind of bring you down. You need a little bit of warmth in there to kind of liven it up a little bit. So I did like that this was a warm bronzer. I did like that it was soft. It wasn't like harsh, but I liked it. I liked that it just gave my skin a little bit of depth and I didn't look super washed out and tired in the winter. Last but not least, I'm going to talk about hair. And for this month, I did try a new shampoo and conditioner. And I only got these little travel sizes because I just wanted to try it out and see how I liked it because it's a pretty pricey shampoo and conditioner. I will say that. I've been using the Hydrate Shampoo and Conditioner by Purology. So I was at the beauty supply and I wanted to try it out and see how I liked it. And of course, if you guys have been watching for a while, you know my hair is dry no matter what I do. So I went for the Hydrate line. What I like about it, I think it goes for all, if not most, but it is 100% vegan and zero sulfates, and I believe it's paraben-free also. It also has an anti-fade complex, so it's good for color-treated hair. So if you don't know, I'm really big on smells, and I've always said, oh, it could be the best product, but if it doesn't smell good, I won't use it. Now, I got a little scared when I used the shampoo. It doesn't smell bad, it just has that organic sort of smell. So it doesn't have like that fragrance, or it's not overpowering, which is good. It definitely smells like, almost like earthy slash like it has essential oils or something. You know what I mean? Like it's hard to explain. It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell like when you think shampoo, like if you think herbal essence or any of that, it doesn't smell like that. It definitely smells more organic. And so when I put that on, I was like, Whew, I don't know how I feel about this because I don't mind the smell, but I didn't want to be smelling like that all day. What I liked is that I got a gorgeous lather with it. Like, I did feel like my hair and my scalp was getting cleansed without drying it out, which I loved because my hair didn't feel harsh after, but it's nice to have a little bit of lather because I usually use a no lather shampoo. But I liked it, it was very hydrating. Now, as far as the conditioner goes, this I love. This has like a minty feel to it, a minty, smell and a minty feel to it and i love that it, it reminds me a lot of the paul mitchell tea tree shampoo now if you guys have used that you know what i'm talking about it's very like minty like it wakes you up and it's invigorating and it's like tingling almost i put conditioner mostly on my ends and i do go to my scalp a little bit just because my hair is dry now a lot of people don't put conditioner on the scalp which is fine especially if you get oily quickly but since i'm dry i do but this did say massage into hair and scalp. And when I put it on my ends and I smelled that minty smell, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna massage it onto my scalp. So I did, I massaged it on my scalp and I let it sit in my hair for like two minutes and it felt so invigorating and like tingly. And I was like, oh, maybe this is stimulating my scalp and my hair will grow, which that's just me wanting long hair. But I've been using it and I've been very happy with it. Also, when I rinse the conditioner out, it feels very conditioned. It doesn't feel greasy or heavy, but it feels very rich and soft. I really, really like this. I'm very happy with this. I will absolutely be venturing out with different Purology products. And I will let you guys know what I think as I play around with a little bit more. So I think that wraps it up for my January favorites. Let me know what you guys liked for the month of January. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And as always, be sure to stay happy, you guys.